Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in the truss shown in the figure by method of joints. In this truss, in the point A, there is a hinged support. In the hinged support, there will be two reactions, vertical reaction and horizontal reaction. In the point D, there is a roller support. In this support, there will be only one reaction, that is the vertical reaction. In the point B, we have a vertical point load, 8 kN and it is acting downwards. In the point C, there is a horizontal load, 5 kN. It is acting towards the right side. And in the point E, there is a vertical load, 6 kN. It is acting downwards. Before finding the reactions, we have to find the height of the truss. In the center of the member ED, let us make a line. Let us keep this point as F. Now let us take the triangle CFD. In this triangle, let us keep the distance of CF as X. We know the formula for tan theta opposite side by adjacent side. So tan 60 is equal to the opposite side x upon the adjacent side 2. We can take 2 on the other side so it will come in the denominator. After multiplying these two values we will get x which is 3.46 meter. Now let us find the reactions. First, I am going to find the vertical reaction Va. For that, I am going to take moment about D. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Va is acting in the clockwise direction. So that will be positive and the distance is 8 meter. So 8 Va. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. The distance is 2 plus 4. So it will be 6. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is also negative. And the distance is 4. The horizontal load 5 is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive. For this load the perpendicular distance is 3.46. After the calculation for VA, we have got 6.84 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VD. VA and VD are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. These two loads are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. We know the value of VA 6.84, let us apply that. Finally, for VD, we are getting 7.16 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 and find HA. Let us assume that HA is acting towards the left side. So, that will be negative. This load is acting towards the right side. So, it will be positive. Finally, for HA, we have got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. HA is acting towards the left side. In this truss, the angles in the point A, E and D are given. Using these angles, we can find the other angles. We know that here the total angle is 90. So 90 minus 60, we will get 30. Here it will be 30, here 30, here 30, here 30, here, here and here it will be 30. In the similar way, we can find these two angles. 90 minus 30, we will get 60. Now, let us take the joint D and find the member forces. In the joint D, we have two member forces in DE and DC. Also, we have a vertical reaction 7.16. In this joint, first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown. If we apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0, 
there will be two unknowns so first we have to apply this rule we know that when we apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we have to take the vertical and inclined forces here we have a vertical force and an inclined force so we have to take both of them since fcd is inclined we have to make it vertical we need 30 degree to make fcd vertical so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 30 when we make fcd vertical it will be acting upwards so it should be applied as positive the reaction is acting upwards so it is also positive finally for fcd we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 we know that when we apply this rule we have to only take the horizontal and inclined members we have to make fcd horizontal to make fcd horizontal we need a 60 degree so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 60 when we make it horizontal it will be acting towards the left side so it should be applied as negative fde is also acting towards the left side so it also should be applied as negative we know the value of fcd 8.27 and compressive since it is compressive we have to apply fcd as negative here we have already one negative sign so negative in the negative it will be positive when we multiply 8.27 with the cos 60 we will get 4.14 finally for fde we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us take the joint c in the joint c we have the forces cb ce and cd also we have a horizontal load 5 kN. in this joint also first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule there will be only one unknown that is fce if we apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 first there will be two unknowns so first we have to apply this rule we know that when we apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we have to only consider the vertical and inclined forces here there is no vertical force but we have two inclined forces so we have to take both of them we have to make fce vertical to make fce vertical we need 30 degree so we have to multiply fce with the cos 30 when we make fce vertical it will be acting downwards so it should be applied as negative also we have to make fcd vertical to make fcd vertical we need 30 degree so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 30 when we make fcd vertical it will be acting downwards so it should be applied as negative cos 30 is common we can take it on the other side 0 by cos 30 we will get 0 we know the value of fcd 8.27 and compressive since it is compressive we have to apply as negative here we have already one negative sign so negative into negative we will get a positive for fce we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 we know that when we apply this rule we have to take the horizontal and inclined forces here there are two horizontal forces fbc and 5 and we have two inclined forces fce and fcd so we have to take all four of them we have to make fce horizontal to make fce horizontal we need 60 degree so we have to multiply fce with the cos 60 when we make horizontal it will be acting towards the left side so it should be applied as negative fbc is acting towards the left side so it should be applied as negative we have to make fcd horizontal to make fcd horizontal we need 60 degree so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 60 when we make fcd horizontal it will be acting towards the right side so it should be applied as positive the load 5 kilonewton is acting towards the right side so it is positive 
just before we have found FCE, let us apply that. And we know the value of FCD, 8.27 and compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FCD as negative. For FBC, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us take the joint E. In the joint E, we have the forces ED, EA, EB and EC. Also, there is a vertical load 6 kN. In this joint also, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. When we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown that is FBE. If we apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0, there will be two unknowns. Let us apply this rule. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to take the inclined and vertical forces. Here we have a vertical force 6 kN and two inclined forces FBE and FCE. We have to make FBE vertical. To make FBE vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 30. When we make FBE vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. We have to also make FCE vertical. To make FCE vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FCE with the cos 30. When we make FCE vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. This load is acting downwards. So it should be applied as negative. We know the value of FCE 8.27. Let us apply that. Finally for FBE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to take the inclined and horizontal forces. Here we have two horizontal forces, FAE and FDE. And we have two inclined forces, FBE and FCE. We have to make FBE horizontal. To make FBE horizontal, we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 60. When we make FBE horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FAE is acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. We have to make FCE horizontal. To make FCE horizontal, we need a 60 degree. So we have to multiply FCE with the cos 60. When we make FCE horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So it should be applied as positive. FDE is acting towards the right side, so it is positive. Just before we have calculated FBE, which is 1.34 and compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Here we have already one negative sign. So negative into negative, it will be positive. We know the value of FCE, 8.27. Let us apply that. Finally, for FAE, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now let us take the joint A. In this joint we have the forces AE and AB. Also we have the vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction. In this joint we have already found FAE. Only we have to find FAB. To find FAB I am going to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. We have to make FAB vertical. To make FAB vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FAB with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. This reaction is acting upwards. So it is also positive. Finally for FAB, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members, then force and then nature of the forces. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.